and thank you for joining me tonight. This video is a distance Reiki session dedicated or with the intention of increasing vitality and what I mean by that is not only personal energy and that vitalness but also as a means of strengthening our immune system and things kind of corresponding with health and physical strength and um, being able to execute things on a more physical level. So this is more or less relating to the root chakra. I'm going to be using a root chakra tuning fork and I have some stones picked out like I always do. Our body truly is a temple for our soul and there's a lot of maintenance <laughs> involved in keeping our body happy and healthy and running up smoothly, but it doesn't have to be completely disconnected from a spiritual practice. Just because it's grounded, it's root chakra based, it's more earth energy, it doesn't mean that it's separate. When we look at or take an approach to our physical well-being in a form of ceremony or connection to something beyond ourselves and align with um, you know, astrological things maybe, or the season, or anything along those lines, even if you could look into more occult terms such as things are uh, Rosicrucian practices which have kind of like a year per person, so like your birthday, then I think there's like five or seven phases within the year and they kind of like go by that, so there's a lot of really cool stuff that is more spiritual or more metaphysical or more astrological, just bigger and deeper than just the physical aspect of moving your body or the physical aspect of just getting stronger or using your strength or being in your power that way. If this is something that interests you, I would highly recommend checking out uh, the Body Astrologer. This is a an individual <laughs> that I found on Instagram and I just fell in love with her work. She is a astrologist, but she's also a personal trainer and she has a background in Chinese medicine, acupuncture, so she's very well-rounded and very Virgo, very organized, makes really awesome videos and is has these like, I don't know how she does it, how she like puts together these exercises. For example, something that I benefited so much from learning through her was discovering what type of body I have, what element of body I have. I have a water body and it's not just because my sign is cancer, it's that I have a lot of water in my chart. Um, there are fire bodies, earth bodies, air bodies, and different sorts of exercise, different sorts of physical training or methods in that way work better with different bodies. I've never been a huge like exerciser, like I go through these like spurts where like I'll go crazy, but all in all like I'm much more comfortable doing like just like like dancing and I don't mean professional dancing, I mean like, like going out or dancing around my bedroom as embarrassing as that sounds. <laughs> But anyway, this is some stuff that really helped me to get in touch with my body and to work with it, work with the moon, work with what's going on in the atmosphere. And I found that just the small amount of practices that I've implemented has been so eye-opening and so inspiring for me to apply things that are not the way they used to be for me. So what I mean by that is, you know, exercise. <laughs> I might, you know, dread it in a way, or I'm kind of a rule breaker where like I'll set a rule for myself and then I won't follow through with it because I'm like rebelling or something. I don't know, something silly like that. But when I'm doing it because it's a good day for it astrologically and I feel the energy from it too, like you'll notice that as you're working with the environment and the atmosphere, the energy shifts. So there are days that are better too you know, exert yourself and days that are better to just chill and like let things pass. This is just something I wanted to share with you because I think it's such valuable information and until I stumbled across this Instagram account by, you know, just happenstance, 
or algorithms or whatever. Um, I never even considered this. And, you know, I like to think I'm pretty in touch with stuff. And this was something that I didn't even consider. Like, I didn't even... I might, you know, understand a little bit about it. Maybe just, like, you know, full moons are more powerful. while New moons might be more time to chill. But never anything beyond that. Certainly not my body type on an astrological sense. Or what exercises are more suiting to me and things like that. So... I'll just leave it at that and put it below if you want to check out her stuff. I just, you know, wanted to share that information. So, of course, we want to dedicate a candle to this session. And my intention is to conduct this Reiki session on behalf of and for anyone who may need it, who's looking to increase their personal energy in a physical sense, and that could be healing on a physical level. It could be getting stronger in a certain way or moving past something or overcoming a personal hurdle or just getting more in touch with your physical body and doing so with meaning and with a element of something beyond the, the physical, <laughs> if that can translate well. So I actually have this mango tangerine candle really good and citrus is an invigorating smell so if you're looking for essential oils to help you with this process I would go with citrus and maybe something like eucalyptus like something kind of intense If you are personally, or even someone you know, struggling with an illness, and I want to set the intention as well for our bodies to heal, to activate and awaken and strengthen the natural or the innate ability to heal oneself. You know, we've talked about this before, but your body knows how to put itself together and knows how to heal itself. It's our job to make sure that it has everything it needs to do that, but it also has, in a way, a certain way to remove mental blockages as well, or thoughts of identifying with sickness, or illness, or weakness, or wherever you are if you would like to improve. You don't have to stay there on the level that you are, and if you want to increase your vitality and grow and anything, any type of improvement or advancement or healing on any level in terms of the body that's what that this session is for so I was kind of drawn to bring out this black kyanite wing these are wonderful for keeping your space sacred, holding space for you and I certainly wanted to bring that element into the session I also have this bloodstone from Monk and Moon. Bloodstone is very strong, gentle, meaningful, has a warrior element because there is red jasper in it. Red jasper is very much a warrior stone. This is one of the most beautiful stones, in my opinion. It's called an Argonite Star Cluster. 
and it has these like tubular shapes that grow out of it just like what like <laughs> are you kidding this one's very much connected to the root chakra and the earth and pulling that earth energy up it's just gorgeous And lastly, I have this tiger's eye, which is also from Monkey Moon, which just has a lot of solar energy, sun energy, but also surely vital energy and earth energy. It's also good for the third eye, actually. So that means that it's helpful for removing those mental blockages we talked about that would keep us in any level or keep us sick. We're going to release those in this session. As much as this session is very physically based, I feel like I'm kind of over explaining here, but as much as it's physically based, I really want to focus on, because I kind of go with this with like everything that I do, but Expect the best. Expect the best outcome. Expect yourself to be the most perfect version of yourself in the physical way, mental way, and bringing in your third eye to see yourself this way. Whether you have to write it down and read it and create this vision, whether you can just, you know, conjure it up, but see yourself how you want to be. Don't see yourself and pick yourself apart physically or say that you're sore or say that you hurt or that you're ill or you have allergies like don't don't say that like whether you're dealing with it or not unless you need help like right in the moment obviously but if this is something you find yourself repeating try to see what happens if you take a couple weeks off from acknowledging and and validating that using my root chakra tuning fork to really stimulate the flow between the earth and your body. So you could picture this starting if you want to use visualization at this point. There's a chakra called the earth star chakra which is below your feet. Um, I forget how much below your feet, maybe like a foot or two. But if you'd like to picture that being in the earth, really connecting with the earth and earth energy flowing up into through that chakra, through the soles of your feet, up your legs, through your knees and into, you know, into your hips and into your root chakra area.
So I mentioned that this is a session that, and I haven't really done a lot of this before with you guys, but it can really be applied to all of my videos and all of the sessions. If you would like to, if you know someone who's struggling physically in any way, and I certainly do, um, you can watch this session, feel the energy come into you, and emotionally connect with it, or feel it, like really incorporate your senses and allow your senses to pick up on what's going on. Then hold that person in your mind and see them, see yourself sending this. We've done this with sending love before, but if you'd like to send vitality to someone, you can, you can do that as well. It's similar to prayer, you could say, um, but since you're involving more of your visualization skills and it's a little deeper that way and you're more participating, it's not asking, it's you're actually making this, creating this ripple, creating this wave yourself. So it's just something kind that you can do for someone else if you know that they're needing of potentially this energy. And what you should always say if you're trying to send anything to anyone <laughs> is something along the lines of if their higher self accepts, I would like to send this energy to so-and-so. If their higher self accepts, and if they don't let this energy go to someone else who needs it or go into the earth or go to the stars or whatever feels right to you, So on behalf of everyone's highest and greatest good, we begin our Reiki session with some symbols. To connect us. our vitality, our immunity, our strength, our personal power, our confidence, our ability, and you feel it rising up from the earth through the earth star track into your feet, up your ankles, up your calves, through your knees, up your thigh, past your hips, and into your root chakra. And this forest is beautiful red, ruby red maybe. Now we're going to cast your aura in a beautiful, vibrant red color. And it's red in my mind, but it's also like holographic in a sense, or um, I don't know the right word, not opal, opal 
lesson maybe um, but it has a shimmer uh, a flash of this like magenta like a really rich magenta so it's these like red and magenta colors these like very jewel tone colors casting your aura completely enveloping you this gorgeous color And what this does is affects your aura to take on this color, obviously. And it strengthens your your vitality, your immunity, and all those wonderful things associated with our physical body. Like a jewel, like a diamond or diamond shape. Okay. So I want to work a little on the third eye area. And what I'm going to be doing, in a sense, if you if the visualization works for you, it really does for me. This is why I like to share. Whatever comes to mind for you is perfectly okay. But I picture having this like bowl of, I don't know, like just sparkling, magical, um, astral <laughs> liquid that you want to cleanse the eye area with in the forehead and all of the space. It's almost like you have like a really soft cloth and you dip it in and you like cleanse the area. That's how I see it. I mean, Whatever comes to mind for you is good, but in doing this, what we want to do is clear away how you see yourself. How you see yourself if you're having a negative association with yourself or you're projecting onto yourself an idea of illness, weakness, inability, slowness, you know, like anything associated with that that would inhibit your personal power and your physical power. So, I'm going to cleanse the eye area. It's super relaxing and gentle. It feels like a massage, basically. Or like a spa treatment. The other one. the nose, bridge of the nose a little bit, not all the way, but like here. And then the forehead. Just want to cleanse this space really well. We're gonna do our fluffing as per usual.
again, just picturing this like, I see it almost like fur sometimes, but whatever comes to mind for you, it could be light or cloudy, like, like mist of some kind, however you see your aura. Okay, now we're going to smooth it out. And after we smooth it all out, I almost fell. <laughs> after we smooth it all out, we're gonna do one more step for it. This is a little different, but we're basically going to be pulling this up. I know we brushed it out, but we're going to be kind of like fluffing it all the way up. <laughs> up to your top, and we're just focusing on bringing that earth energy, that force, that powerful force up through you. Through your back into your shoulders, it's really strong, your arms, just really strengthening your whole body. Okay. Now we want to envision this golden liquid Filling your spleen, and when I say golden, I mean like, like the metal, like beautiful golden. Filling your spleen, just powering up your white blood cells, increasing your ability to fight off infections or any bacteria or any, you know, stuff that comes up. you're going through chemo or anything like that, it's a very serious thing that I'm sorry that anyone has to go through, but I'm glad it exists. Um, this is something that you might want to do in your off days, your off weeks, to just strengthen your body, because stuff like chemo has to kind of hurt you to help you heal. Feeling your body and taking his, being gentle with it, of course, but just even the subtle stuff is very, has a big impact. Lots of love to you. Okay, so you've got this golden fluid, your white blood cells are up, you're ready to fight off anything. <laughs> your muscles feel stronger, the tone in your body feels stronger, your posture feels better, literally everything just feels stronger and just much more powerful, much more you. Lastly, we want to cast your aura, so like the very outer, outer, outer part of it, <laughs> to be cast in white, like an eggshell, like a beautiful white glow. This just offers some protection and just feels right when we're working on this, especially with healing. So we have this gorgeous white glow around you. I hope that you enjoyed this session and got some benefit out of it. Even if it's just to help you sleep, help you relax, or give you something to think about. Thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. I'm so very grateful for all your love and support. As always, namaste.